Hi, my name is Samuel Lee, and I'm at Crystal Bridges Museum of American Art. The art that will be reviewed is the Ramsey Polk family at Carpenters Point, Cecil County, Maryland, by James Peel. He was an American painter best known for his miniature and still life paintings. He was born in Charleston, Maryland, and was trained by being an apprentice, a studio assistant to his older brother, Charles Peel. In his early stages, he was an artist. He began to specialize in miniature portraits, but in 1810, when his eyesight began to fail, he started larger portraits and still lives, as well as landscapes in his later years. The location of this painting was painted in Carpenter's Point. It was the first permanent settlement in Cecil County. It is assumed that James had been commissioned to create the painting, or it may have been a gift for the Ramses. It is noted that Nathaniel Ramsey was the brother-in-law of Charles Peel, the brother of James Peel, which would make Nathaniel Ramsey the brother-in-law of James. It shows that the Ramsey and Peel family retained extremely close ties. This may be the reason why this painting was drawn so well. This painting was created in 1793. The artwork itself was painted in the colonial American period. The size of this painting is 125 by 100 centimeters. This painting is not extremely large, but it is life size. Because of this life size, the viewers may feel unknowingly attracted to the ideal size of the painting, which portrays not only the three daughters of the Polk family, but also the scenery behind the painting. The medium used for this painting was oil on canvas. The three largest figures in the painting are the three sisters. The sisters create a focal point in this painting. The three sisters also seem to create a triangle. The triangle itself is not placed in the center of the painting, but strangely placed in the lower right-hand corner of the painting. The triangle shows a resemblance of communal unity in the sisterhood. However, the expression of the two daughters on the side of the triangle are solemn, questioning the positive relationships the triangle supposedly portrays. Again, if you look at the figures closely, you can see the humanity within the social bonds between the sisters. The daughter with the red dress sitting on the chair seems to be reading a book, but because of the family portrait, she has to quit, and therefore she seems agitated and has a look of unrest. Her sister right next to her with the pink dress seems to rebuke her sister with the red dress because of her unwillingness to put down her book during the family portrait. This can be seen from her hand pointing at the sister with the book and from her solemn facial expression. The last daughter in this painting is the one with the blue dress. She is depicted to be the most mature about the whole feud seems to reside over the two sisters. At the same time, she seems very nonchalant and implies that she is enjoying this quarrel. Her posture also resembles the posture of Venus and the birth of Venus by Botticelli. However, there is much more differences than similarities. Venus is in the center of the painting, while the daughter in the blue dress is only in the center of the triangle. The proportions of Venus are prolonged and overdone while the daughter is portrayed with the correct human proportion. Venus is naked while the daughter is not. Peel uses strong color contrast between the bright colors used on the three sisters and their dresses with the background depicting a scene of a storm approaching. The use of gloomy colors within the background may also attribute to the awkward relationships among the three sisters in their quarrel. Peel uses long diagonal strokes in the background and smaller linear strokes in the figure. However, his brush strokes are very precise and drawn with meticulous detail. This can be seen especially from the middle daughter in the blue dress. The painstaking amount of detail from the three daughters are astounding. This can be seen from the delicately drawn attire and the folds themselves in each of the dresses. From what the daughters are wearing, we can assume that the Ramsey family is very wealthy. The warm colors show Peel's interest in the use of color to set a unique mood in the painting. Elaborate rendering of the background also reveals Peel's interest in the study of landscape. The background reveals a busy landscape port for the vessels hauling goods and passengers. This portrays Cecil County in the 1800s. With the hazy background, Peel uses the technique of smato on the hills. Peel painted the clouds by contrasting light and dark to add a sense of reality. He uses the perspective in the picture plane, creating the illusion of space within the painting very well. The three daughters are the largest figure in the painting compared to the background, where everything seems to be proportionally smaller. This creates the image of three-dimensional space. The main focus is on the three sisters. The proportion of the three sisters compared to everyone else in the painting, including the workers and sailors, shows the importance in the three sisters' social status visually through the wealth displayed in their attire, as well as their proportionally large size compared to everything else. One of the paintings that are similar to the Ramsey Polk family at Carpenter's Point is Mrs. Theodore's Atkinson, Jr., a painting done by John Copley. They are both from the same time period, however they are different in many ways. Copley's painting has a sense of realism in its use of detail. This can be seen in the face of the woman who is painted with extreme detail, while Peel seems to depict his figure more loosely 
In Copley's painting, he uses chiaroscuro more vividly than Peel. Peel, however, is keener in depicting the landscape than in Copley's painting. I chose this artwork because it was very appealing to me compared to many of the paintings I saw at Crystal Bridges Museum of American Art in Bentonville, Arkansas. The detail and the delineated contour of each figure in the painting captivated me. The color Peel used to paint each figure was unique. This painting was aesthetically pleasing, and the more I stared at this painting, the more interesting it became, and that is why I chose this painting.